teachers often tell their students that they should never procrastinate and that the key to a perfect paper or speech is to work on it early. However, many students do not listen to their teachers and they refuse to work on their projects until the very last minute. I personally have written many 2 a.m. papers and do not recommend this habit. However, for those of you who wish to try this approach to writing, here's, an old, here's a 12-step guide to write a speech that's due in less than 24 hours. Your steps will include forgetting about the speech or presentation, remembering the speech or presentation, having a mental breakdown, working during school, going to after-school activities, getting to work, congratulating yourself, sobbing quietly, going to bed, thanking the teacher, praying, and lying to yourself. Your first step is to realize that you forgot about your speech. Usually, a friend will ask you to proofread or listen to their finished speech, at which point you remember that you never started your own. This step is very emotionally taxing, as you will have a mini heart attack, even though you knew well in advance what the due date was. Next, I recommend confirming with other friends, or possibly the course syllabus, that the due date is in fact the next day, because no matter how much you trust your friend, you will doubt that they are telling you the truth. Now, take time to have a mental breakdown. It is best to get this step out of the way now in order to conserve time for later on. You can do this in whatever way comes naturally to you. Throwing things, screaming, crying, maybe just staring into the void as you wonder why God hates you. However, I do recommend only allowing yourself to wallow in self-pity over your horrible life for no more than 15 minutes, as time is of the essence. Once you have calmed yourself down, the next step is to begin working on your speech using whatever time you have available. If you own a laptop, try sneaking it into your class. If you don't own a laptop, you can download Word on your phone. It's a little trickier to type on, but it does have the factor of being easier to conceal. And if a teacher asks you what you're doing, tell them that you're taking notes. They're smarter than you, and they will know that you are lying, though maybe it will, also, maybe it will buy you time. Also, plan on working <coughs> on your speech after class. Then. Remember that you unfortunately have a job or a sporting event. Go to your job or sporting event and continue to think about your speech the entire time, paying no attention to what's going on around you and being useless to your team members. I also recommend telling anyone and everyone who will listen about just how much you procrastinated and how horrible your life is. You can probably squeeze about three minutes of sympathy from each person and it will make you feel better about your life. After your activities are done, done for the night, it is time to go home and grab a quick meal, lock yourself in your room, give yourself 20 minutes of phone time because you earned it, and get back to work on your speech. One tip I have for this stage is to listen to music on your phone through YouTube. This will help to keep you off your phone because if you use your phone for social media, it will close the YouTube app and turn off your music, leaving you in eerie silence that will cause you to have an existential crisis. Plus, the music will help keep you focused. Once you have finally finished your speech, read it over a few times to check and make sure that all the inevitable inconsistencies and mistakes are there because you're not going to fix them because you're way too tired for that. Also, take time to congratulate yourself on all that you have achieved in this night. Next, review the rubric for the speech one last time and come to the horrific conclusion that you need a visual aid for the project. This will be heartbreaking. Take no more than two minutes to quietly sob to yourself, then get back to work on that presentation for the speech. After you complete your PowerPoint, save everything and go to bed. You will need that full hour that you have left to effectively present your speech the next day. The final step is to find a teacher you can beg and let them use their room. A good tactic is to yawn, act extremely tired while asking them. This should not be hard as you are physically exhausted. Maybe you could even cry. It will, help them make, it will help to make them more sympathetic to your hardships. Also, find a, big, a group of students willing to listen to your speech. Threaten them, bribe them, do whatever is necessary to get them into the room. Your next step is to pray that your teacher has a sense of humor. Because, well, if they don't, only God can save your grade now. Now that your speech is over, tell yourself that you will never again procrastinate. You are exhausted, and it feels as though you have been hit by a truck. Procrastinating is not a pleasant experience. Finding out what the, find out what the next project is, and find out when it's due. Tell yourself that you have plenty of time, and then forget that it exists. And if you ever need the steps repeated, they are forgetting about the presentation, remembering the presentation, 
having a mental breakdown, working during school, going to after school activities, getting to work, congratulating yourself, sobbing quietly, going to bed, begging a teacher, praying, and lying to yourself. Because you're never going to work on that project until there's at least only two hours left. Thank you.